Hi, it's Will, Tabletop Generals. We've had a request from one of our YouTube subscribers on how to make a base for your minis, and that's an easy one. We're going to do it right now. What I have here are some 172 scale IMEX Union Infantry mounted on a base, and the base is just a 4 centimeter by 4 centimeter piece of stamped metal. You can get these at uh, pretty much any hobby store that does model railroading and historical minis. They come in different sizes. If you don't have access to one of those kind of stores, if you have access to a game store that carries the Flames of War line, they have little plastic bases, and these are real nice because they have a beveled edge, so it has a distinct upside and downside, and the upside is a little bit textured already. Or you can take a piece of heavy card or lightweight cardboard and just cut them into whatever sizes you want. So, you've got your base. The first thing you want to do is prime it. I recommend using the Armory Primer. It's uh, not expensive and it's uh, of a real good quality. You run into some problems with like the Krylon spray paints. You tend to get globbing or an orange peel effect. That's no good. Use a dedicated primer for miniatures. Uh, the testers line of model airplane paints will work well as well. And then the next thing you'll need is some flock. This is from Gale Force 9 and it is just heavy flock. Um, it's a blend so it's mostly green but it's got some little brown patches in there. You'll need plain old white glue. Once you've mounted your minis, and to mount your minis, I'd recommend just using super glue or testers airplane glue. Super glue if they're metal, airplane glue if they're plastic. Uh, you will carefully paint the base. I've painted the IMAX mini base with uh, a uh, folk art paint, which is just an acrylic paint. You can get this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of those big craft stores. Really cheap, a lot cheaper than modeling, specific modeling paint. Some people will do it with a brown, um, brown or green. It is really up to you. If you want to get fancy at any model railroad store and any better miniature store, you can get a little bag of gravel, or you can just go out in your yard and find some gravel, and you can put this down to represent boulders, or you can glue a little wall in front of your guys if you want. So... Let's get on to the application of glue and then applying the flock onto the, uh, the stand of minis and I'll show you how it's done. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we have our materials. We have our guys glued onto the base. The base is already painted green. We have the Elmer's glue. What we're going to do is we're going to take just a little tiny bit of water and we're going to mix some Elmer's glue with it. Let's go ahead and do that. You want to cut it down because you're going to brush it on and you can't just brush it right out of the uh, glue bottle. It's way, way too thick. So you can get rid of the glue there. I'm going to take one of your not very good brushes and we're going to uh, stir this up. And you want just a light consistency. Once the water evaporates, it's the, the remaining glue is going to hold the flock onto the, uh, the base just fine. So we've got that all mixed up. Let's put that aside for a second. Now, like I said, we have Gale Force 9 flock. What I've done is I've taken a little bit and just put it in a plastic bag. So we can put a little more in there, actually. Plastic bags are actually a better way to store this than the uh, container it comes in because it can get messy if you spill it and it's a big waste. So we've got our flock in our bag. Get rid of the, the flock that came in the package. Next thing we're going to do is, like I said, you want to use one of your not very good brushes and you're simply going to give a light coating on the entire base of the miniature, but you want to be careful not to get any 
on the minis themselves. If your minis come with little bases like these IMEX guys do, get a little bit on the base, but watch out for their legs because otherwise you'll have grass growing up the legs of your mini, and you don't want that. So, I'm just going to put a little bit on here. And I may have gotten some on that poor guy's leg, but he'll live. Now, what you do is you open up your bag with your flock in it, and you put your entire mini in there, and then you just shake it around a little bit. Now, there are different kinds of flock, and Gale Force 9 is a little chunky, actually. Um, one of the best ones is by a company called Woodland Scenics, and they make model railroad stuff, and they make a real fine flock. But I don't have any of that tonight. Or I do, but I can't find it. So we're going to pull the thing out, stand out. Now, as you can see, maybe you can't see. Let's see. As you can see, it looks way too wooded. It looks like they're standing in a very unmowed lawn. So you just simply blow it off. And that gives you a nice light coverage on there. Um, like I've said, I actually prefer the Woodland Scenics to the Gale Force 9, uh, especially on the smaller scale stuff. But this will work. Now, if you notice that during your little plastic bag part, you missed any spots. Just pinch a little in your hand and dab it kind of where you want it. And then all you got to do is wait for the glue to dry, and you have a base mini ready for the field of battle. Now you just got to clean it up. So this is for Leah Daniel, 1997. I hope this is what you're looking for. Um, if not, post a comment and we'll shoot what you are. This has been Will with Tabletop Generals. and uh, hoping you're all having uh, many victories on the uh, tabletop. Have a good one.